everyone welcome to gate academy in this session i will discuss a new operator called as conditional operator conditional operator the very first thing you need to know is this is the only ternary operator this is the only ternary operator in C programming. Only ternary operator. Sir, what do we mean by ternary operator? That means, that means it require three operands. Sir, no, no other ternary operator exists in C programming language. This is the only, only ternary operator in C programming language. What is a ternary operator? Sir, we have already seen unary operator that takes one argument. Binary operator that takes two arguments. So, that means this, this operator used to take three operands. Sir, how it works? How it works? So, the ternary operator is nothing but question mark and colon. Sir, but, but what is the general syntax? What is the general syntax? See, see, the general syntax is something like this. Expression 1, question mark, then expression 2, colon, expression 3. Sir, sir, what is expression 1? What is expression 2? What is expression 3? In order to, in order to understand this in, in depth, First, first, I must discuss what is a statement and what is an expression. Sir, what is a statement? What is a statement? Sir, C program is divided into statements. Okay. Sir. Okay. 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 Sir, sir. All of them are statement that means terminated by a semicolon. Sir, this is a statement. What? This is a declaration. So, basically this is a declarative statement. Sir, C program is comprised of statement. What is this? This is a declaration statement. Sir, again, what is this? This is again a declaration statement. Can I say this is initialization? Yes, sir. This is declaration along with initialization. This is declaration. Sir, what about this? This is assignment statement. This is assignment statement. Okay. And what about this? This is again a assignment statement. Sir, okay. We get to know what is a statement. Then, sir, what is an expression? See, see, see. Sir, this is a statement. This is a statement. This is a statement. This is a statement. But, what is an expression? Don't, don't try to mug up bookish language. That an expression comprised of operand and operator with some, no, no, no. Don't go for it. Don't go for it. Sir, what is an expression? In simplest term, any statement having some value. Any statement having some value. Sir, 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 sir. Is this a statement have some value? No, sir. This is a statement, but this is not an expression. What about this? Ah, this is a statement. Is there any value associated with this statement? No, sir. This is not an expression. But what about this? Sir, sir, here we are using an operator. Equal to. And I already told you what is the value or result of assignment statement. For example, if I ask you, if I ask you printf percentage d comma a is equal to 10. Sir, how it works? Sir, sir, first of all, first of all, first of all, try to understand. Sir, this is a. Let us suppose it has some previous value. Cursor is here. Sir, when this printf execute, when this printf execute, by looking at percentage d, compiler gets to know that something, some integer values to be printed, some integer values to be printed. But from where, from where to collect that value? Sir, go to the expression after comma. What is the expression after comma? Sir, this is an assignment statement. Assignment statement, what does it do? Sir, this assignment statement is trying to, trying to update the content of A by value 10. 
we are we are trying to store this tan inside a so sir what will happen sir this will happen okay but sir what is the value associated with the assignment statement we already know it sir the value associated with the value associated with assignment statement is the value itself that is being assigned that means that means sir after this assignment after this assignment what is the result of this or what is the value of this tan so what does compiler print compiler will print tan done sir perfectly okay so 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 is it a statement yes sir it is a statement as well as an expression it is a statement as well as expression sir what about this b is equal to a into 3 plus 2 sir again it is a assignment statement try to understand sir some value of a is there let us suppose sir even in mathematics how we perform this sir first we calculate it that is r value for compiler in programming language this is the r value first this will be evaluated depending upon operator precedence and associativity for example if the value of a is 10 then what is the value sir 30 plus 2 32 that get stored inside b but if i ask you what is the value of this statement 32 see 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 sir if i write b is equal to 32 what is the value of this statement 32 but r are are we using that value somewhere no sir that's why why that's why why it got printed no sir but 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 if if i do something like this let us suppose after this statement if i do something like this then things will work out in other way sir 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 compiler by looking at percentage d gets to know that some integer values to be printed at current cursor position but from where to collect that value sir sir after comma but after comma what is it sir assignment statement or an expression how assignment statement used to work out it says assign the value assign the r value in the variable in l value sir that means we are saying we are saying something like this okay b is having 32 as old value we are saying assign this value but but just because just because assignment statement is not only a statement is an expression that means sir once it is done if i ask you if compiler ask you oh hey, what is the value associated with this ex uh, expression sir the value associated with this expression is the value which is which is get assigned that is why sir can i replace this with 50 yes of course so what is the output sir 50 will be printed that means first it is assigned and then it is printed why because 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 now we are interested in we are interested in the value of this expression we are interested in printing the value of that expression here here okay 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 this statement this expression has a value 32 but are we using it no sir so try to understand try to understand what is an expression what is an expression sir in simplest term in simplest term expression is any statement having some value see i don't believe in bookish language what i believe is knowledge that can be represented done sir done sir so 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 sir we have already studied studied relational operator and we know one thing what is that sir sir the result the result or output the result or output sorry the result or output of every relational operator is zero or one if i ask you what is this sir this is nothing but the value associated sir what is this is this a number is this a value yes sir it is a value that means that means for every relational operation there is some value so can i say can i say a statement like this a statement like this is it a statement yes sir it is a statement but because because it has some value associated with it can i say this is also an expression can i say this is also an expression yes sir this is also an expression but am i printing the value associated with this expression no sir try to understand sir if i ask you if i ask you printf percentage d 
3 greater than 2. Sir, what is the output? Let us try to understand. Sir, sir, if this is the monitor, here is the cursor. By looking at percentage D, compiler gets to know that some value is to be printed at current cursor position. But from where it will collect that value? Sir, after comma. See, what is after comma? Sir, after comma, we have a we have a relational operator. Sir, what is the result of relational operator? Let's see. Sir, is it true that 3 is greater than 2? Yes, sir, it is true. That is why. What is the value of this expression? What is the result of this expression? Sir, 1. Try to understand. Sir, basically, we are using the value associated with this particular expression. That means, can I say, can I say this is an expression? Can I say this is an expression? Yes, sir, this is an expression. Of course, this is an expression. Always remember, every expression is a statement, but not every statement is an expression. Try to understand. Sir, 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 sir. If I ask you, void main, void main, printf, percentage d, 10 is equal to is equal to 10. Okay. Printf percentage d 10 into 2 plus 3. Okay. Printf percentage d comma 60 not is equal to 50. Okay. Printf percentage d comma 3. 3 is greater than 3. Sir, are these statements valid? Yes, of course they are valid. Because, because, sir, we have an relational operator. Is there any value associated with the relational operator? Yes, sir. That means, can I say this is an expression? Yes, sir. This is an expression. Sir, is this an expression? Yes, this is an expression. Is this an expression? Yes, sir, this is an expression. Is this an expression? Yes, sir, it is also an expression. Just pause the video and try to find out the value of all the printf. Just try to find out the value of all these printf statement. Just pause the video for 5 or 10 seconds and do let me know the answer. Do let me know the answer. Sir, again it is a relational statement. Is it true that 10 is equal to 10? Yes, sir. If it is true, what is the value? Sir, the output would be 1. I hope everyone knows this, sir. Is it true? Yes, it is true. That's why 1 is the value. So, what is the output? Sir, 1 is the output. Sir, 10 into 2 plus 3. On the basis of priority, multiplication will be performed first. 20 plus 3, that is 23, will be printed. Sir, 60 is not is equal to 50. Is it true that 60 and 50 are different? Yes, sir, it is true. That means this statement is true. So, what is the result? Sir, the value or result or output of every relational statement is 0 or 1. It is 1 if it is true. If the statement is true. So, the statement is true. That's why the output would be 1. Sir, what about this? This statement is false. Then that's why the output would be 0. So, sir, we get to know, we get to know what is an expression. So, coming back to, coming back to ternary operator. Coming back to ternary operator. This is our ternary operator. Sir, it requires three operands. It requires three operands. And the general syntax is expression 1, question mark, expression 2, colon, expression 3. Sir, how things will work out in this ternary operator? See, because this is an expression, because this is an expression, either its value is non-zero or zero. Either its value is non-zero or zero. What do I mean by non-zero? Sir, in C programming, non-zero, every non-zero value is treated as true and zero value, only zero value is treated as false. Done, sir. Done, sir. If, if the, they first, first, firstly, expression one is evaluated by the compiler. Firstly, expression one is evaluated by the compiler. Sir, it could be true or it could be false. If it is true, if it is true, if it is true, if it is true, then the value of this entire expression, then the value of this entire expression. Sir, is it an expression again? Yes, it is an expression again. Sir, operator, operator. When you use an operator, 
इट मस्ट हैव सम रिजल्ट यस सर ऑफ कोर्स सर 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 ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड सर एक्सप्रेशन वन फर्स्टली फर्स्टली कंपाइलर विल इवेल्युएट एक्सप्रेशन वन आइदर इट इज नॉन जीरो और इट इज जीरो Sir, if it is non-zero, that means it is true. It is treated as true. So, if the value of expression one is true, then the value of this entire expression becomes equal to expression two. That means the result of this entire expression will be the value expression two. Try to understand. Let me write it. Let me write it. If so, in the beginning, compiler will evaluate expression 1 compiler will evaluate expression 1 if expression 1 is evaluated to be true is evaluated to be true then 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 the result of entire expression this entire expression will be expression 2 sir okay if it is true the result of this entire expression is nothing but expression 2 but what if it is false sir 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 if it is false if expression 1 is evaluated to be false is evaluated to be false then the result then the result of entire expression will be expression 3 try to understand it try to understand try to understand sir sir this is the story behind it let's see let's see the, an example let's see an example sir 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 let us suppose i write int a a is equal to 10 greater than 3 10 colon 3 sir 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 firstly what will happen sir a variable is declared then we have a ternary operator sir sir this is the value of expression 1 this is expression 2 and this is expression 3 sir as per rule firstly expression 1 will be evaluated tell me tell me what is the value of 10 greater than 3 sir sir is it true that 10 is greater than 3 yes it is true yes it is true the result is 1 or you can say the result is true that means sir just because expression 1 is true that means the result of this entire expression the result of this entire expression is nothing but expression 2 that means can i say can i say what is the value that goes inside a expression 2 that means this 10 will be stored inside a basically what we are trying here what we are trying here see try to understand sir you are saying you are saying if 10 is greater than 3 if 10 is greater than 3 then our answer is 10 if it is false then our answer is 3 that means basically basically what we are interested in sir we are interested in storing larger number among 10 and 3 inside a we are trying to store larger number inside a so i hope i hope things must be clear sir sir please take another example okay let me take another example sir int a if i say a is equal to 2 not is equal to 3 colon 12 colon 15 sir let's try to understand it see this is our expression 1 this is our expression 1 this is expression 2 and this is expression 3 okay sir 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 firstly this expression will be evaluated so if i ask you 2 not is equal to 3 is it true yes sir it is true 2 and 3 are different values that is why it is true and and what is the value associated with this particular expression 1 because it is true sir sir 
if it is non zero or true then the result of the result of this expression is nothing but expression 2 so can i say can i say this expression this expression this expression is evaluated as 12 yes sir that means finally what is the value that goes inside a sir the value that goes inside a is 12 done sir done so so this was this was the story behind ternary operator sir 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 are there some rules we need to remember first rule first rule sir what is first rule what is first rule sir 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 question mark and colon must be same That means I cannot have something like this 13 question mark 2 colon 3 colon 4. Is it possible? No, sir. There is only one question mark. There must be exactly one colon. Compiler will raise an error. Compiler will raise an error if you provide something like this. Okay, sir. Second. Okay, sir. You said question mark and colon must be same. But is it possible that we have 2 colon 3 question mark 10? No, sir. Order do matters. Order do matter. First, first we must have we must have question mark. Then we must have colon. Because, 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 because the general syntax is nothing but the general syntax is nothing but something like this. You can understand it like this way. Sir, we have left part, we have middle part, and we have the right part. What is the left part before question mark? What is the middle part question after question mark and before colon? What is the right part after after colon? Sir, sir, sir. Rule number two. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Rule number two is okay. Sir, sir, sir. What if, what if we have nesting of, what if we have nesting of ternary operator? What if we have nesting of ternary operator? Okay. Sir. Let us suppose I have a situation like this. A is equal to A is equal to 10 less than 3 question mark 12 colon 5 not is equal to 6 question mark 7 colon 10. Sir, we have 2 question mark, 2 colon. How to understand this? How to understand this? See, try to understand. Try to understand. Sir, Every colon is associated with just previous question mark. That means if I talk about, sir, 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 this question mark is associated with this colon. Okay. That means, that means if I ask about this, that means this colon mark is associated with this question mark. Of course, sir. So, let me talk about the very first question mark. Don't be in a haste. Don't hurry. Just be calm and try to understand the situation. Okay, sir, sir, sir. For this question mark, this is the left part. For this question mark, this is the left part. What is the middle part for this question mark? Sir, this is the question mark. This is the colon. That means the middle part is this. And this entire thing becomes the right part for this question mark. Sir, this is the left part, middle part and right part. Please. Please follow this approach. You will be able to solve each and every question no matter, no matter what it contains. Sir, sir, sir. So, firstly, compiler will evaluate expression 1 or left expression. Sir, what is the value? 10 is less than 3. Is it false or true? Sir, it is false. Sir, sir, sir. If the left part is false, then the value of entire expression is given by the value of entire expression is given by middle or right? Sir, right. That means, that means now, do I need this mid? No, sir. This mid will never be evaluated by compiler. See, sir, this was the left part. If it is true, if it was true, if it was true, that means the value of entire expression is given by middle part. But if it is false, then the value of entire expression is given by right part. That means, that means, sir, we don't need this anymore. Okay. That means our new expression is nothing but 5 not is equal to 6 question mark 7 colon 10. Okay, sir. So, now for this question mark, this is the left part. 
This is the middle part and this is the right part. Done, sir. Done. So, firstly, compiler will evaluate this part. So, tell me, is it true or false that 5 is not equal to 6? Sir, it is true. That 5 and 6 are two different values. That means it is true. And if it is true, the value of entire expression is given by the middle part. That means, what is the final value of this entire expression, sir? 7. So, can I say the value that get assigned inside A is nothing but 7. Please pause the video. Please pause the video and try, try this question by yourself. Try this question by yourself so that you will get a clear idea about how, how things are working. So that's, that's how ternary operator used to work out. That's all for this session. In next session, I will discuss more problems based upon ternary operator. Bye-bye. Take care.